We're an organic dairy farm here in Dunmore, County Galway. Milking uh, 230 Holstein cows and um, pedigree Holstein cows. Um, we're on a liquid milk contract. We have all year round. And um, yeah, so there in the spring of 2025, we commissioned a biogas plant to um, provide energy and to reduce our energy costs. Um, so at, at the farm, it's uh, 49 kilowatts. Um, biogas plants it's a combined heat heat and power unit so we're producing electricity and heat um, so that's all being produced off biomethane which is the methane captured off the cow slurry um farm yard manure and a bit of waste cycles that we have feedstocks are sourced on farm there's no uh, feedstocks brought in um, so it's totally self-sufficient feedstocks so um within the shed we have uh, scraper systems that are running on an hourly basis, scraping fresh slurry off the cow pastures. Um, so the slurry then is collected fresh and it's pumped across into the pump into a pumping station where it's pumped onto a mixing tank for um, blending in with your farmyard manure. There's a mixing unit, so there's the chopper machine and a propeller pump, and that's uh, making a homogeneous soup, which is blend blended and then pumped into the the biogas plant um, so that's done on an hourly basis so it's little and often feeding. It, the farm has been developing for since my grandfather bought it so uh, at this stage we're, 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 we're at a stage where we can develop it to uh, become self-sufficient in electricity um, and um, everything we've done the infrastructure is going to be there for for decades uh, so it's, it's not just the payback time, the long-term project that will uh, keep us off-grid as much as possible and uh, in the future it will give us the ability, once we know the system, that we can um, make more gas and hopefully in the future, along with selling milk, we'll be selling gas and electricity. Uh, through the process of the digester, it, uh, it increases the availability of the nutrients within the slurry uh, through the AD process. Um, we're separating the slurry. We have the solid part of the, of the product, uh, which can be land spread uh, on tillage ground because it's high in P and K. We have the liquid side that's um, uh, high in nitrogen that's spread on paddocks and silage ground. Uh, to grow as much grass as possible. We've see, already started to see the benefit of the separated liquid slurry and growing more grass in the paddocks. Through uh, our EIP project, our small uh, biogas demonstration project funded by the Department of Agriculture, we supported Brinton with a capital grant to build a farm scale biogas plant here in his farm. I suppose this plant is different to maybe what farm, other farmers would understand about biogas in that it's on the farm. It's using the farm's feedstock and the energy that's being produced is being used here on the farm by Brendan to produce electricity and heat. So this is uniquely different to the other models, which are larger, larger scale developments where they're taking in feedstocks from a wide variety of farmers in that this only uses Brendan's own feedstocks and uses the energy on his own farm uh, for, for that purpose. It's an organic farm, so nutrient recycling is very, very important. So that for the, our, the biogas plant, the farm scale biogas plant here, provides that opportunity. It allows for uh, the biogas plant to um, take in the various different inputs uh, here on the farm and produce uh, uh, enhanced nitrogen fer uh, fertilizer in the form of a digestate material, which Brendan can use to spread Brendan is also separating the material here. So he separates the, the digestive that comes from the biogas plant into a liquid and a solid fraction. So he can better utilize those nutrients at a time of the year when he most needs them. I suppose you'd be looking at plan information from your county council, uh, talk to ESB networks um, for grid connections and to look after the electrical side. And then I suppose you'd talk to the guys in IRBEA um, they are, have a wealth of knowledge on the biogas plants, commissioning of plants, planning, um, yeah, they have all the resources and information needed.